join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. <laughs> Join us! Join us. Join us. Join us. Won't you join us? <laughs> Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another beautiful day in the garden. Um, I am experimenting with this little piggy pigments. And uh, I just got a bunch of them in the mail and they're really, really fun and I love the colors and I love the shimmer on them. So I'm trying to figure out other ways to play with them other than just blooms. Our last piece we did, uh, Shimmer Cloud, actually is right here. This was an experiment using Liquitex Gloss Medium and no Floetrol, still not completely dry. But we did get a little bit of cracking up here on the top and along this edge over here. So I'm going to be playing with that recipe a little bit more and maybe trying some other mediums to see what happens when we make something like that. But today I want to do something different. I want to do kind of a bloom swipe um, inspired by the beautiful pieces that Molly from Molly's Artistry has been doing her rainbow swipe series. I think uh, her bright line series she's calling it. They're so beautiful and I will link them for you in the description box. So please make sure you go check her out. So I want to try it a little bit differently. She did a black and white split base. I want to do permanent blue violet and white and I'm using my this little piggy pigments and a couple of two paints also. So this is a 15 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put the push pins in and I have painted two sides blue violet and two sides white. So this should be interesting. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way. Let me show you the colors I'm using. Also I just got this mat in the mail. This is so pretty. This Fluid Art Company 4 mat. This is really really cool. I'm very excited about using this one. So we will get some pretty drips out of this also. Okay, the first color we are using is the Indigo Waves. This one, very, very pretty. Super shimmery, super sparkly. Okay, so now this pouring medium for all of the colors is, today we are using HGTV Home Sherman Williams Interior Exterior High Gloss, uh, and this is the Ultra Deep Base. So that's this one. Thank you, Billy. <laughs> She's such a sweet lady. Check out fluidart.co. Um, they have awesome stuff. That's where you can get all the little piggy pigments. You can get these mats. You can get a whole bunch of these little stir sticks and just awesome, awesome stuff. So that's the HGTV and I have used Joe Sonia varnish with the deep base. So that's what my pouring medium is made up of today. And I did disperse the pigments in the Joe Sonia varnish first. So first what you do is you put about, you know, a teaspoon of the varnish in the bottom of the cup, put your scoop of pigment in there, mix it all up till it's all wet, and then you add your pouring medium, which is the varnish and the deep base. So this is our, what do you say it was called? Indigo Waves. So that one's real pretty. This one is Nightfall, which we used in that piece over there, <laughs> the shimmery cloud one. Really, really beautiful color. Okay. Then I am using this one, which is Glisten, which is very, very pretty. This is an interference one. I haven't used this one before, so I don't know exactly what color it's, you know, shifty to. But when I did first put it, put it in the, put it in the cup, I can talk. Um, when I did first put it in the varnish, it almost looked greenish for a second. I thought, oh, that'll be awesome with all these colors. Okay, and then I'm using Tail Feather is the last one. This is the one that we used when I did my first go around of playing with piggies, our bloom experiment series that was a lot of fun. This is Tail Feather. Very, very pretty bluish green, peacocky sort of color. Okay, now for the non 
piggy faints. <laughs> this one is HLA Free Flow in Quinacridone Magenta. It's a very, very pretty consistency and a beautiful color. Y'all know how I am about magenta, but I like this one. Probably because it's very red. Not super, super pink. So that's the Atelier Magenta. Very, very pretty. And then I have Amsterdam Bronze. So the two paints I have also mixed with the Deep Base and Varnish Pouring Medium. To get them to the same consistency as those. Okay, so that's Amsterdam Bronze. Ooh, opened up on me. <laughs> and then I have Prussian Blue from Golden, which is very, very pretty. I love all of these colors. Okay, and now this one and the bronze took a lot more water, probably because I put too much paint in the bronze one and then I had to thin it out. But I specifically used just a tiny bit of the golden and it was like almost perfect right off the bat. Okay, so we have our pouring medium. Uh, the cell activator I'm using is Amsterdam Titanium White with Australian Floetrol. And then I also have Golden's Turquoise Thalo with Australian Floetrol. So we'll see how those two work together. Um, I'm not using house paint for a pillow paint. I'm going to use this one. <laughs> this is Amsterdam Blue Violet mixed with some Liquitex Gloss Medium and a lot of Floetrol. A lot of Floetrol. And this is not super, super thin. I actually feel like I should water this down a little bit, but I don't want to water it down too much because I am going to be doing a bloom swipe on it. So we'll see how this goes. So I have the Blue Violet and I have Amsterdam Titanium White for the other side because I really like that split base that I did with the shimmer clouds. I thought it was really, really pretty. Okay, so first thing we need to do, let's try it around. Let's put down our base coat. So what the game plan is, is to put down the purple on one side and the white on the other side and then put down, and this is something that I saw Molly do and she saw, she saw Olga Sobe doing it and they're both awesome artists so please do check them out. Instead of putting a whole long line, I just put smaller chunks and then swipe that and it was really, really pretty and I love how it swiped through both colors. It was beautiful. So that's actually why I did both cell activators but we'll see. We'll see how we want to play. Okay, so this one is going to go like along here. Okay, and I haven't done this before, but I've watched Molly's video several times because it was really, really pretty. And we're going to go with the blue violet over here. Probably more like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little nervous now. I'm just going to tilt that to spread it just a tiny bit. Okay. All right. So far, so good. <laughs> All right. Um, so obviously the plan is to put the colors that will show up on the purple on the purple and the ones that won't show up on the purple on the white. <laughs> We're going to start with this beautiful indigo wave. I'm going to put like a puddle like over there. Okay. And then we're going to use some of that glisten. Okay, and then we're going to come in to that Atelier Quinacridone Magenta. And I might go back and put some more glisten on top of everything. And then let's do... Okay, no, let's do the tail feather first because you want to try to layer them on top, on top of something that was a two paint and that Atelier is a two paint. Well, I guess the blue violet is a two paint too, so. Okay, now we'll do the proper. Or bronze, sorry. And the Prussian blue. Put some more glisten over here. Actually, I'm just gonna run some all the way through the whole thing too. I didn't use this one yet. All right, we're gonna use this nightfall now, and this one's gonna kind of overlap a little bit. 
And then let's go back to that. Indigo waves. I think that one's gonna look really pretty on both colors of the base coat. Okay, so we're gonna swipe. Let's swipe. We're gonna use this spatula. This is one of the Liquitex Freeform ones. And I think we're gonna put a couple of colors of cell activator on here. I have put my cell activator in the squeeze bottles just to make it easier to dispense it. And I hope that I've got this thin enough now because that's been one of the challenges that I've had making sure that it's thin enough. Okay, so we're gonna do the turquoise and we're gonna do white on the other side of that too. Okay, it should be interesting. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I'm gonna start over here. Yeah. Okay, here goes nothing. There's lots of turquoise in there. Woo, but look at those cells. That's pretty. That makes me happy. Woo, it works. <laughs> Okay, so one of the things Molly did that I did not do is she did, she swiped smaller sections. Uh, obviously I swiped bigger sections, but this is looking really cool actually. Kind of happy about that so far. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit more of the pillow paint around the edge over here just because I don't want to lose these cells because they're very, very pretty. Let's tilt this side out first. Okay, so we're gonna take this down this way a little bit. And then we're gonna go down towards that edge. And we'll make sure that we're covering each side. Get some of that extra off, it doesn't matter if it's anchors, that's fine. We need a little bit more on that corner and I don't want to tilt that way yet. So I'm just going to put some this way. Okay, let's turn this around. something in my paint. It's about to slide off, so that's fine. Let's just flip black down to the center. towards me real quick first. It's kind of spider webby actually. Oh, cool. What do you think, HOA? That's really cool. I love this section over there. This one's kind of, this part's pretty neat, but that part's kind of wishy-washy. I'm going to tilt this way just a little bit. A, because I'm going to anchor this over the corner, and B, I'm not crazy about that eyeball thing. Okay. So we're going to take this down and then 
over. So now, do you think we should anchor this over here or we should leave the negative space HLA? This part. Um, <clears throat> no, I like the negative space. Okay. Let's see if we can't tilt it downward a little bit then and open it. Good balance for you. That turquoise on the end all of a sudden. I'll take a little bit of that off too. <coughs> so there's the way we paint. Right in that way. Weird feeling my cell activator is too thin. Because it's moving weird. Very cool. It's very shimmery. What do you think, HOA? It's looking pretty cool. I really like everything that's happening, but the one part that I really don't like is right in here. Where the cells are a little bit wonky, and that's because there seems to be a lot of something that's very thin, and that has to be the cell activator. I'm wondering if we shouldn't tilt some of this off to get some of that off and that'll open this up and since this is anchored it should stay so let's try that I'm gonna take it straight down and let some of this part run off and hopefully open up some of this in the process see how these cells are stretching out and spreading out Really cool. 
Bulldog's experiment. Okay. So what do you think? Am I done? Or do we redo the whole thing? <laughs> I think I'm kind of done. Yeah. It's a cool piece. Like there's something you're not telling me. <laughs> you're not saying. No. No. Is it this part? Um, I don't know. I'm not really crazy about those these two parts that were anchored over here. I think it would have been cool if it was just all white on the top. And, really? But it's nothing you can do about it now. I like that actually that they're anchored because it stretched them out and opened them up. Okay, well, see it then. And there's beautiful shimmer in there from that nightfall and depression. That's why it's up to you and not to me. I just, I really don't like this. Maybe we should swipe this part one more time with just the, <clears throat> just the white. It'd be bold. Or if I was really being bold, I would scrape this part off and do it again. <laughs> Maybe do that. I really don't like this. Okay. It's weird. Um, okay, so we're gonna be bold. Let's scrape this off. I know you guys are saying that was the coolest part. Like, don't kill me. It is method to my madness, I promise. Fiona did the most amazing uh, reverse flower dip with the piggy paint. Oh, amazing. So cool. All right, we're just going to spread this out so that there's not a lot of it on there. I think I did put a lot of it on there. That's okay. In any case, I'm glad we got rid of those wonky cells because they were really driving me crazy. Not a long drive, my love. Not yeah, a long drive. yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So funny. You know, Halloween is coming HOA. Okay. So let's see. Let's put a little bit of that glisten over here. And then some of the magenta. Bronze kind of got lost, didn't it? I only see a little bit of it over there. Okay, get some of this on here. That indigo wave. That's a beautiful color. Um, a little bit of the Prussian blue, too. I probably should have put that on the bottom. Okay, so let's wait for this one. We're just going to do the white this time. White cell activator. I hope it's not this that's too thin. Okay, so we're going to start over here and we're going to go across. Are you ready? Yes, my love. Okay, here we go. Oh good, I got rid of that part I didn't like either. Ha! I'm just going to bring this down. Okay. That's cool. I like that better. In any case, and I am going to bring it down just a little bit. We're just going to give this another second or two. And then we'll take some of that extra paint, stretch this out just a little bit, and get rid of some of the extra. This is really cool up here, though. I like these cells. It's cool. Okay, this is better. All right. 
gonna take this and I'm just gonna go straight down. So that extra paint is running over the edge. That's just fine. I know I kind of like it. <laughs> That's really cool, actually. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. It's better? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like this. I think it's really, really pretty. I think it's really cool. Thank you so much to Molly's Artistry for your inspiration, always. Lovely, lovely lady. It's such a nice, nice, helpful person. Make sure you guys check out this little piggy pigments. You can get them at Fluid Art Co. I will link them in the description box for you. Um, thank you to Billy for all your help, always. She's awesome. Check out some of the, this little piggy groups because there are other people who are also experimenting and figuring out fun things to do that aren't exactly blooms with the, this little piggies and I'm going to be doing some more experiment with different pouring mediums as well. If you guys have used the piggies in a non-bloom manner um, and you want to tell me about it, I would love to know. So let me know in the comments. Okay? This was awesome. Thank you so much. I will show you this one when it's dry. We'll be right back. Okay, so this is the next day. Still a little wet, <laughs> mostly dry around the edges. But it's looking really, really, really pretty. I love that part. It's so funny, because all the parts that I wasn't crazy about when I was doing it, I love now. Like, I love this in here, it's just gorgeous. So pretty, a little bit of that glisten. Some of the mermaid, or was it, uh, <laughs> indigo waves and tail feather it's really really pretty so this one's cool this one still looks like spider webs to me so <laughs> we're gonna call this spider webs thank you guys so much for being here with us i really appreciate your all your comments and your lovely suggestions and your support and your encouragement and your enthusiasm means so much to me so Thank you guys so much. We will see you guys real soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.